All right, this is El Magnet Lake. We're in El Magnet Park, we're in Apple Valley, Great River Greening. It's our first day working out here on a 20 acre site. We're having a volunteer event in three weekends, um, and we're, we're looking for about 150 people to come out here and help us on that time. This is an impaired body of water. By the word impaired, is kind of euphemism for, you know, you really shouldn't swim in this, you shouldn't drink the water too much, and the fish not, may not even be edible. In fact, quality fish like pike and sunfish are becoming more rare, where rough fish like bullheads and carp are becoming more common in an impaired lake like this. The lake is suffering from eutrophic conditions. It's considered a eutrophic lake. Phosphorus is the primary culprit. I'm sure we've heard a lot about in the Twin Cities area regulating the amount of phosphorus and detergents back in the 70s. Now it's lawn fertilizers in, in the 2000s that we're trying to regulate to prevent the phosphorus from ending up in the lake. The problem here in El Magnet Park may not be coming from the lawns. It may be actually coming from the, the, the lands that surround it, the natural areas that are over forested, excessive shade, no ground there, soils are free to erode, and they're carrying vast amounts of sediments into this lake. That's where the phosphorus will primarily be coming from. So one of the advantages of our thinning out here is not to open up vistas where we can see further into the woods, promoting that ground layer to stabilize the soil so they don't erode, creating more flowers for pollinators and all the other types of small wildlife things. But we're also keeping the phosphorus on the land, preventing it from coming into the lake. So we're actually dealing indirectly, but in a direct way, with the water quality of El Magnet Lake. Another reason we're here. Thank you.